Okay, I'm going to go through an AQA uh, question for A-level biology on the value of P. So let's get into it. The question is, do these data show that there were significant changes in the grassland communities on these islands? Give reasons for your answers. You can pause the video and read the question through for a little bit if you want. Right, there's three islands, Islay, Colonse, and Harris. We've been given the change in mean species richness between 1975 and 2010, and we've been given the value of P. Now, if you look at the means for those three islands in this first column, 8.89, 14.7, and minus 5.13 are the changes. So there's been a change in all three means. And when we look at the p-value, the fact that we get an arrow to the left, meaning less than 0 0.001, we've got a lower value. This means that there has been a significant change. Now, we need to point out that the two changes, the one in ILA and Colon A, are both increases, significant increases in species richness. And the one in Harris is a significant decrease. It's actually gone down. But when we look at the p-value here, okay, uh, what does this actually tell me? How does this give me evidence or a reason that I can say the change is significant? Well, what does 0 0.001 mean? Well, that's a probability. And that's telling me that there is a one in a thousand. 0 0.001 is a thousandth. So there's a one in a thousand thousandth chance or there's a one in a thousandth probability that these changes in the results or in the mean is down to chance so these changes are all the same they've got the same p-value and that's 0 0.001 or if you times by 100 you can talk about this in terms of percentage it's 0 0.1 percent probability that these results were different because of chance and what this tells me is actually that it's far more likely that these results are down to uh, something else. With their significant results, they're probably down to a biotic factor on those islands or an abiotic factor that's affected the species richness. And they're not just down to random chance. So, um, yeah, that's why we do statistical tests and why we generate p-values from them. Okay, now looking at the mean index of diversity, which is the fourth column, there's two other significant results. You can look at Colin Say, the island, and see that there's been an increase of plus 2.68, and at Harris, a decrease of 2.44. But how can I say that this is a significant increase and a decrease? How can I say it's significant? Well, look at the p-value for them both. The arrows to the left again, meaning that it's less than or below 0 0.01. And what does that tell me? That tells me that the probability of this change in the index being down to chance is 0 0.01. If you prefer percentages, times it by 100 is 1%. There's only a 1% probability this was down to chance. Okay, let's look at the only value that is not significant, and it's the island of Islay, and it's their change in mean index of diversity on the island of Islay here, the plus 0 0.22. And we can see the arrow this time for our p-value is to the right, and it says greater than 0 0.05. So in Islay, the increase in mean index of diversity is not significant. And how can I say this? Well, it's telling me by the p-value that the probability that this is down to chance is greater than 0 0.05, and this is not um, except, uh, blah, blah, blah. this is not acceptable at A-level. At A-level, you cannot say that a result is significant, a change or a difference is significant if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05. It means that there is over 5% probability that these results, these changes, were down to chance. Um, and at A-level, we say that's not good enough for for us to say that the result is statistically significant. So that's the only result there that's not a significant result. And we can say that one is not down to chance. But we can't say it's 100% not down to chance. We have to back it up with the data and say there's a 0 0.05 or 5% probability that this is down to chance. So we say that that is not significant. So remember that at A level, um, any values under 0 0.05 uh, to the left of them, we will accept and we'll back that up to say that our data has been statistically proven to be st um, significant. However, 
if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, then at A-level, we say the result is not significant, even though to us it might seem crazy that only it's only 5% probability or 0 0.05 that it's down to chance. But still, that's the high standards we have at A-level. All right, guys, hit the like. Let's get to the marks.